A Hamilton County real estate broker agrees to surrender his license. The state filed a complaint against Jeffrey Rothbard, alleging he failed to disclose criminal convictions. Tonight, WRTV investigates Kara Kenny explains why some say the state's action is not enough. Jeff Rothbard is also a home contractor. Customers reached out to us saying they hired him for construction projects, but say he didn't do the work or give them a refund. Ben Irvin wanted to make his Fisher's home better, but he says hiring Jeff Rothbard made things worse. We had gotten him from a recommendation from a neighbor. Rothbard is the manager of Silver Creek Residential and Silver Creek Construction, according to state records. In 2022, Ben put down a $13,000 deposit to build a deck and an addition. He did not finish the job. He, uh, he collected a bunch of money, never actually ordered the materials that he said he had ordered. Ben started doing some digging and found in 2011, Rothbard was convicted of forgery in Marion County and sentenced to probation. And in 2016, Rothbard was convicted in federal court of wire fraud. The feds say he used his company's Green City Finance and Green City Energy to take commitment deposits from people who needed financing and instead used the money to pay his living expenses. After serving time in federal prison, Rothbard created two Indiana businesses, Silver Creek Residential and Silver Creek Construction. Were you aware of his criminal background when you hired him to do work at your home? We were not aware. We had done, we had thought we had done good research. The Indiana Attorney General's Office filed a complaint in February alleging Rothbard failed to disclose his forgery and wire fraud convictions when applying for and renewing his Indiana real estate broker license. In fact, Rothbard answered no when asked if he'd ever been convicted of any offense. In August, the state reached a settlement agreement with Rothbard in which he agreed to surrender his real estate broker license for a minimum of five years. It just seems like a slap on the wrist to compare to the amount of pain and damage he's caused. The attorney general's complaint says the state received four consumer complaints in 2023, including one from Ben Irvin, alleging Rothbard and Silver Creek Construction took money for projects but did not finish the work or provide refunds. However, the AG's office says those allegations could not be substantiated. What would you like to see happen? Uh, I don't think anybody's under the impression that they're going to see any money back, but I'd like to see his ability to take advantage of people put to a net. I emailed an attorney who's represented Rothbard on this case, and I didn't hear back, so I waited outside the federal courthouse. Hi, Jeff. Uh, Kara Kenny with WRTV Channel 6. Can we uh, ask you a couple questions? No. About what? About no. the people that say you owe them money. No. Uh -uh. Can you say anything about the... Uh, state uh, filing a complaint against your real estate license. Rothbard did not admit to any wrongdoing in his settlement with the state. He filed for bankruptcy last year, but his former business partner is challenging whether Rothbard should be allowed to wipe out certain debts. The former business partner alleged Rothbard engaged in fraud. Ben Irvin plans to testify against Rothbard in federal court, and that case is still pending. Rothbard's bankruptcy filing also means several civil lawsuits against Rothbard and Silver Creek Construction are on pause, including one filed by Yasser Ali of Indianapolis. What do you want? I want the money back. He says Rothbard never finished remodeling his house. We have to redo the whole thing again. Forcing Yasser's family to find somewhere else to live while they wait. Me personally, I was like, I couldn't, sometimes I couldn't sleep. I was trying to hide, uh, like, my motion to my kids, I don't want them to be in. And I was telling them, no, everything will be fine. We will, you know, finish. But it was terrible, honestly, it was terrible. The Elias and Irvins had to pay another contractor to finish the job, which was just more money out of their pockets. What tips would you give people if they're looking to hire a contractor? Uh, with our new contractor, what we're doing is we're doing an, uh, a phased work plan. So we will only pay for a section of work as it's being performed. Other tips include paying by credit card, which offers more protection than paying by cash or check. You can also run the contractor's name through my case. That will show you any criminal or civil cases against them. Kara Kenny, WRTV. Carmel Police was investigating, but tells us, quote, this case has been referred to the FBI. 
Rothbard has not been criminally charged in connection with his construction business. We've reached out to Rothbard and his attorneys again for comment, but we have not heard back. Although Silver Creek, Silver Creek Construction is still a registered business in Indiana, it is unclear if they are still doing any work.